thanks so much for stopping by welcome to my channel tonight I'm just gonna do a quick video I had one of my uh, followers request more information on how to do some of the strokes that I did in my latest video which is the one with the purple flowers so I'm not sure what they what the actual question was referencing, if it was the actual flower petals or the the leaves, but I'm going to demonstrate both and and hopefully that will help. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the leaf color because I have those present right now from a, my video I just put together. And it's basically it's the happy green and the thicket and I am using a smaller a smaller flat brush so it really this is again just a more of a stroke work type of video to try to help somebody alright so basically with the leaves that I did on on that design you can use the green on the exterior the lighter green on the exterior you can do the dark green on one side, the light green on the other side, however you want to do it, that's up to you. When you start your leaves, you know, I double loaded the brush, and when you start your leaves, you can either, you know, make a V if you want to have it to where it comes up and around, because there's different directions to do it, and I am a lefty, so I'm trying to do it where you can see it. But I start, and then I just do maybe a couple little strokes to get started. And then once I do that, I'm just wiggling, the, pushing the bristles down and wiggling the brush and then pulling up. And then start it again over here, get it started, and basically do the same thing and lift it up and bring it to the tip. And then go like that. Alright, just give you another, another demo of it. Again. You can do it like this if you want your leaf to be more like heading down direction instead of with the rounded coming up. And again, I just like to do a couple little starter strokes and then just push it down and just so lightly wiggle it. Now, one of the best products that I found to practice on, and that's basically what you what you need to do if you're having a hard time getting a stroke you just need to practice it watch and practice watch and practice watch and practice there'll be different ways to do things you know you have people that actually do one color and then do the blending with the different colors on the actual piece once you've you've actually created the leaf this is taking care of all that all in your your one stroke basically all right so hopefully that helps now again i am left-handed so you may have to start on the opposite side from what i'm doing in order to get your design just keep that in mind and that can be hard when you're watching somebody that paints with a different hand than what you're used to because you will do it differently i'll do it different from you but it's just basic that basic you start do a couple little uh, strokes and then just push it down and just wiggle 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 and then as you're finishing you just gently lift it up all right now going to the color that I actually used I'm not going to use the white because I already have warm white out on my on my little Sorry for the noise here loading this, but I already have my plate out with warm white on it. And I'm going to, with the petals that I did last night on my purple flower, I'm going to double load my brush with the warm white and the violet pansy. Alright, now with this design, 
You can do it a, a couple different ways. Again, I'm a lefty, so I'm going to start on the opposite side of you. If you're, and you can do a leaf like that. And that's basically just coming up. You're coming up, kind of dipping it down a little bit, and then you're going to come back down. All right, or you can do a different type where you're coming up, but you might want to give it a little bit of wiggle and then pull it down. It's just a slight wiggle. You come up and you kind of round it still, but you're going to just do it a little wiggle and pull it. It's all about the wiggling. All right, so come up, do a little wiggle, and then pull it down. You can just kind of do like that and just do a little bit of wiggle on one side. It's fine. However you're comfortable with it, there's just so many different ways to create these designs. If you want a bigger petal, then use a bigger brush. I know that may seem like that's common sense, but I find myself a lot of times not doing that. And I think, God darn, this is hard. And I think, oh, I need to, I need to switch off to a different brush. But see, there's just different styles that you can do. Um, I hope that this is helping. If you have any questions, please let me know. But again, I hope, I know it's just hard when I'm a lefty. You're seeing what I'm doing. I'm going to bring it down. Alright, so that's it. This, again, I told you it was going to be a very quick tutorial just to help a, a person that ask some questions today just to show them. If you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I post something new. If you like this video, also make sure you give me a big thumbs up and share this video with your social network, your family and friends. I am trying to grow my channel. I would deeply appreciate it. Anyways, until the next time, hope to see you then. Have a good one.